In the northeastern region of Colombia, specifically in the department of Norte de Santander, one of the most impressive geological catastrophes of recent years has radically transformed the landscape and the lives of hundreds of families who depend on the local road infrastructure. The Carare Transversal, a vital artery connecting the municipalities of Landazuri and Barbosa in the province of Velez, became the epicenter of a devastating geological event that literally swallowed approximately 1.9 miles, 3 kilometers, of asphalt in a brutal demonstration of the force that terrestrial tectonic dynamics can exert on human structures. This catastrophic phenomenon, captured in videos that quickly spread across social media networks and captured international attention, presents images that seem extracted from apocalyptic disaster film productions, revealing complete sections of the highway in an absolutely impassable and destroyed state. The magnitude of the collapse surprised both geology experts and local communities, evidencing the critical vulnerability of infrastructure built over zones of active geological instability. The Department of Norte de Santander is situated in a geologically complex region of Colombia, characterized by intense tectonic activity resulting from the interaction between different lithospheric plates that compose the South American terrestrial crust. This specific area, where the Carare Transversal was built decades ago, presents a documented history of soil movements and occasional landslides, although no previous event had reached the devastating scale observed in this recent collapse. The province of Velez, known for its rugged mountainous topography and traditional agricultural production, has developed over the centuries amid deep valleys and steep slopes that, despite providing extraordinary scenic beauty, represent constant challenges in terms of geological stability and infrastructure maintenance. The rocks underlying the region comprise sedimentary and metamorphic formations, with ages dating back millions of years, layers that have been folded, fractured, and displaced by continuous tectonic processes that still remain active in present days. The geological history of this specific portion of the Colombian Cordillera dates back to the period when intense subduction processes and continental collision shaped the Andean landscape we know today. Over millions of years, the continuous movement of tectonic plates created a complex system of crisscrossing geological faults, zones of crustal weakness where accumulated stress periodically releases through earthquakes, landslides, and massive terrain collapses. The Carare Transversal, strategically built to facilitate commerce and communication between isolated communities in the mountains, necessarily crosses several of these zones of geological fragility, where the combination of altered rocks, water infiltration, and steep inclinations creates perpetually unstable conditions. Engineers and geologists who worked on the original construction of the highway certainly identified these risks, implementing stabilization measures that, however, proved insufficient against the magnitude of the recent event that literally reconfigured the region's topography. The broader tectonic context of Colombia, situated in one of the most geologically active zones on the planet, helps understand why events of this nature, although rare, always remain as real possibilities threatening infrastructure and communities. The complex interaction between the Nazca Plate, which subducts under the South American Plate, generates constant tensions that propagate throughout the entire Colombian territory, manifesting in frequent earthquakes, volcanic activity, and generalized terrain instability. This dynamic system responsible for the majestic formation of the Andes mountain range also brings with it monumental challenges for the development of lasting infrastructure in mountainous regions. The combination of geological, climatic, and topographic factors transforms areas like the province of Velez into territories where the balance between human development and natural forces remains perpetually delicate and vulnerable to dramatic collapses like the one recently witnessed. The dramatic events that culminated in the catastrophic destruction of the Carare Transversal began to unfold during the last weeks of October, a period in which subtle signs of geological instability progressively escalated to a crisis of alarming proportions. Local residents who regularly traveled the highway reported having observed, in the days preceding the main collapse, small cracks appearing in the asphalt, almost imperceptible displacements of guardrails, and strange sounds emanating from the subsoil muffled noises they described as similar to distant thunder or the creaking of metal structures under extreme tension. These precursor signs, which in retrospect evidence the progressive failure process occurring in the depths of the rocky substrate, unfortunately were not adequately interpreted or communicated to responsible authorities before the main catastrophic event unleashed with devastating force. On the fateful morning when the geological fault finally yielded completely, Witnesses reported having felt sudden tremors followed by the terrifying sound of rocks breaking and earth moving in colossal volumes. 
The sequence of collapses that followed occurred dramatically and progressively, with successive sections of the highway literally disappearing within hours, while the instability propagated along approximately 1.9 miles, 3 kilometers, of linear extension. Videos captured by astonished residents and subsequently massively shared on social media networks show with disturbing clarity the moment when large sections of asphalt, together with all associated infrastructure including electrical power poles, road signage, and drainage systems, plummet into newly formed abysses that expose geological layers normally hidden hundreds of feet, hundreds of meters, below the surface. Aerial images obtained by drones in subsequent days reveal a completely transformed landscape where what was once a functional highway now presents itself as a succession of gigantic craters, destabilized embankments, and masses of displaced earth that accumulated in the valleys below, obstructing watercourses and creating new secondary risks of floods and additional landslides. The National Risk Management Unit of Columbia, the governmental body responsible for coordinating responses to emergencies and natural disasters, quickly mobilized specialized technical teams to assess the complete extent of the damage and persistent risks in the affected area. Preliminary surveys conducted through helicopter overflights, satellite imaging, and cautious inspections on terrain where it was still possible to access safely documented that approximately 638 acres, 258 hectares, of territory were directly compromised by geological instability, an area equivalent to hundreds of football fields where the soil remains dangerously unstable and subject to additional movements. Entire communities situated along the affected road corridor suddenly found themselves isolated from the rest of the country without viable access to larger urban centers and essential services that depend on functional road connections, including food supply, medicines, fuel, and access to emergency medical facilities. The apocalyptic scenario revealed by the footage and photographs that circulated widely on the internet shows with rawness the vulnerability of modern civilization before geological forces that operate on scales of time and magnitude that frequently escape human comprehension and control. Leave in the comments below your informed opinion about how national governments and local authorities should prioritize limited resources between development of new infrastructure versus adequate maintenance and monitoring of existing systems in areas of known geological risk, an essential debate that frequently determines whether vulnerable communities will receive adequate protection or remain exposed to preventable catastrophes. Tell us also if you or people you know have experienced similar situations involving landslides, geological faults, or other natural phenomena that impacted critical infrastructure and local communities, because your personal experiences enrich our collective understanding of these global challenges. Together, through continued education and expanded collective awareness, we can build societies more prepared and resilient to face the unpredictable but inevitable forces that Earth continuously manifests through its dynamic and constantly transforming geology.